we finally got to the track with real physical hardware, some of us were holding our breath. We were a little bit nervous. The first drive in the car wasn't honestly the most inspiring thing. There's a lot of work we have to do. We will often break things that we honestly didn't expect to break. Track testing really is the essence of what drives our team to achieve things we haven't in the past. If you have a deep relationship with the car that you've developed on the racetrack, where you've pushed it to, to and beyond its limit, you find it opens up this whole window of your brain where you can feel things happening in the car that you would never notice before. Part of what uh, we're trying to achieve here is to, to make sure that we could fully integrate, fully tune all aspects of the car. The components are all there, the hardware is well baked, there's a lot of calibration work that's required, and we are now taking that final 80% to the finished polished product. If you talk to our ride and handling engineers and our chassis control engineers, they live in that car. That is their office space. That's literally where they go to work every day. So the, the big thing we had to adapt to was our tuning style and how we adapt to a new center of gravity location and, and how we can take advantage of all the rear tire that this car has. Uh, been on different test tracks and had a chance to slide the car around, drift it a little bit on our vehicle dynamic test area. That was very exciting. I've had a chance to ride along on our durability test where we, we really punished the car on Belgian blocks and, and gravel roads and thousands of miles of stuff that a normal Corvette owner would never subject their car to. I've had a chance to uh, be in the car at a cold weather test site on ice and snow where we're challenging the stability systems and, and chassis controls to deliver great performance. And you think about it was just a couple years ago, we were looking at some computer renderings on a screen as the initial bones for the car. Here it is, you know, a very compelling three-dimensional machine working at this level. And it was just, uh, it was sort of for me the, the point that I know had, we had really completed the mission that we had set out to do. About a month ago, we were at the track, and uh, I thought, well, this is the last time this is going to be a new thing for me. This is when I get out of the car in 45 minutes after a tank of fuel, this is going to be the Corvette, and it's not going to be the new Corvette, it's going to be the Corvette. That for me was the moment where I saw the, the real light switch on the mid-engine architecture was that it's just so easy to be fast and to have fun.